शाम को अभी ऑस्ट्रेलिया नहीं जाना है आपके संग संग घूमना है Raj, uh, you promised you'd answer my questions. I mean, huh? You promised you'd answer my questions if I came here. One question, hundred. Hello. Two questions, two hundred dollars. That's a good deal. Three questions, that's a good deal. One question, hundred. Okay. Good day. Good day. You didn't take a close card. You say card. When you come past Stony, play in the jungle. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to bother you. Not a problem. Yeah. Paparazzi here. <laughs> I just have this cheap $88 Walmart camera. Hey, back off for two. <laughs> yes, going. Very, very. Uh, okay, I'll give him money. Yes. They seem to like that. Two things you cannot refuse.
Sachi go far. How long? Very short, maybe 20 minutes at the most.
नमो महाबदन्याय कृष्णा प्रेमदाये कृष्णाय कृष्णा चेतन्या नमः गौरवशिष्ये गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय I koti koti dandot pranam in the lotus feet of my Paramaradha Om Vishnu Pada Sotasisma Bhakti Sadhgana Kishore. And the same, Koti Koti Dandot Pranam in the Lotus Feet of my Siksha Guru, Om Vishnu Pada Sotasasana Bhakti Vedanda Swami Maharaj. After that, what I have told before, perhaps was angel or here, I don't remember. That Brahma, Shankar, all demigods came to Dwarka in the palace of Krishna. And they told, we have requested and prayed you to come to this world to take the bhubha, burden of this prithvi. So, it is finished now. We have killed Uttana, Agasur, Vakasur, Trinavartha, so many in Vrindavan, so many in Mathura, Kansa, Charun, Moshe, his brothers, and Jarasandha, 11, uh, 11 or 17, 17. Uh, 17 times with Akshamani Sena, unlimited army. And then also in Mahabharata Yuddha, uh, you have killed yourself or by your bhuja army, arm. Oh, Bhim and Arjun. You have killed all the demons who were first Devasu, Shangram, Asur. Now they have come in the form of Kshatriya. So you have killed. Krishna told, I know. You have reminded me. I have done everything. But if I will go now, then Jadubansi will create so many troubles. So before me, I should finish them. So, he inspired Turbasa and other Rishi, and they made God cause to Jadunad dynasty. They will be finished quarreling each other. So, Krishna <coughs> told all Jadubansi, some unauspicious things are seen. We should go to Prabhastitha, very sick, sacred place. We will donate payments and we will satisfy them. All went there and fire sacrifice was done. 
but they took marine any wine and then forget everything who is brother his father who is mother who is he the fighting each other finished but i have told this was only magic of krishna by this he sent all his associates some in heaven some in vaikuntha some in dwarka and some in braj in this mass marriage in one and then <coughs> baldev prabhu left his body in a snake form he came and then he went to golok bindavan and after that krishna was sitting on the people tree as if nothing has been done atma aram atma kaam every day and the in the mean time uddhav came it all that i know now you want to return back to your kulo bindavan i cannot live without you so please take me with you and then krishna told me, something remaining for you you have to be in this world what i am telling to you now bhagavat dharma how easily a blind man can also follow the process and they can achieve supreme lord's prem i will tell you and you should tell first to bidu in the way and then you should go to badrikashram and then tell to maitri rishi and then he will tell everybody and you should be there sometimes you can be in braja so sometimes in kusum sarovar uddhav kunda as a blade of cross he is wetting the feet rest of of gopis when krishna uh, gopis will go to abhishek to meet krishna so uddhav is there so at that time uddhav requested whole world is in tangle in grihastha dharma so how they can be liberated and how they can have krishna prem then krishna began to tell us you should give up worldly life it is like blind veil burning fire give up at once and be renounced give up everything all attachment in this world and you can travel in whole world like nara especially kalyu kaljuga is mahan yuga demi gods even all those who are very intelligent they want to be in kaliju guna grahi all all because here in kaliju keval nam sankirtane na sat sartha bilapya by nam sankirtan by singing the glory of krishna ru naam quality and other things easily they can achieve everything more than that than in satta yug by dhyan teta yug jagya and dwapar archa in consequence if a man only thinks that i should do this bad thing if has not done in activity then 
no sin. Understand? By mind, if he is doing so many nonsense things, but not by body. In Kali Yuga, not fruitful. If he will do by body and senses, then. So Kali Yuga has so many things. That is why wise and intelligent person they want to come in Kali Yuga. Mind also have to get reaction now, simple, simple, simple. Positive things, positive reaction in color yoga. What else? If I mind things, so many positive things, very good things. This will bear fruit, but this will give fruit, but bad things, no. <laughs> and then, <laughs> good then, Krishna told that. Jadu was very religious person in my family before. Yes, so much love and affection from Brahmins and Rishis Muni. One day he saw a naked person, probably not begging anything from anyone. But he still he was so much healthy. So, and he was very, very happy. Jayatma, Samparsha. Because he was remembering Krishna, his past times. So, Jadu did pranam and then took his feet dust on his head and told. I want to know, you are naked, you have no, oh no, sangrah nai. No possession. Sangrah means? You are not earning anything. Any collection with you, nothing, quite naked, here and there, going and there. But yet, why you are so happy? And why you are so healthy? I want to know. <coughs> then Dattatreya, he was Dattatreya, manifestation of God. He told, O Jadu, There are 24 Gurus. They are my all Siksha Guru. <coughs> Prithvi, Earth, Air, Akash, Sky, Sky Water, Fire, Chandra, Surja, Pigeon, Ajagar, Python, Python, Samudra, Ocean, Patanga, Yes, Patanga, Hora, Pambobis, or Madhumatki, and Elephant. Oh, those who take Shahad, <coughs> Madhu from Honey uh, Collector, Honey Collector, Deer, Fish, Pingala Beshya, Kurar Prachi, any bird, Balak, Baby, and Kumari Kanya, on unmarried girl, and any bad banana wala, arrow maker, 
एरोमेकर स्नेक मकड़ी स्पाइडर एंड भृंगी कीट वी विल एक्सप्लेन फर्दर ऑल दिस ओ जदू महाराज आई मेक दिस ट्वेंटी फोर शिक्षा गुरु एंड आई लर्न सो मेनी थिंग्स फ्रॉम देम एंड दैट इज वाई आई एम हैप्पी आई एम नॉट अटैच टू एनी वन एंड दस ट्रेवलिंग इन कोल्ड वर्ल्ड समटाइम्स शिप कर hiding myself sometimes like now i am vegetable for you only to give you mercy and sometimes traveling but not to anyone know who is he he is a mad person <laughs> and sometimes by mercy to give for that benefit i manifest now i am manifesting myself and telling mercifully oh from earth will be from the earth i learn patience गुरुवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय तदाले कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्त तदभक्त नमो नम सो आई हैव ट्वेंटी फोर शिक्ष गुरुस अमांग्स देम फर्स्ट इज अर्थ बिकॉज फ्रॉम द अर्थ आई लर्न पेशेंस जस्ट लाइक मदर अर्थ मेनी गुड पर्सन मेनी बैड पर्सन वॉक अपॉन हर पास टूल ऑन हर पास यू ऑन हर ऑलवेज टेकिंग फ्रॉम हर बट शी इज सो खाइन लाइक मिलियंस ऑफ मदर्स शी इज ऑलवेज टॉलरेटिंग one is like the moon the moon appears to manifest different phases sometimes it's full moon sometimes quarter moon sometimes new moon but the moon itself is unaffected by the so called changes that it manifests in the same way the atma is completely unaffected by different manifestations means different bodies that it may take one children one guru is the mountain because the mountain everything the mountain has is for the benefit of others another is the tree because everything the tree has is also for the benefit of the others one guru is like then five gurus like fire earth water fire air and sky i learned that one should be a saintly person is like fire because no matter what objects we put in fire the fire accepts those objects but remains unaffected by them in the same way as sadhu may move in this world there may be so many varieties of good and bad but the sadhu accepts them what is necessary for his maintenance but remains unaffected by them a sadhu is also like a saintly person should be like water because unlike me water makes a very pleasing sound anyone who contacts water becomes very cool and purified in the same way a saintly person is like water because he makes very nice sound of harikatha and anyone who contacts him they become pure and peaceful i learned that one should be like the ocean isn't like in the rainy season many many the rivers are full and they rush towards the ocean but the ocean does not rise up in the dry season there is no water going in the ocean but ocean remains thank you Vaishnava should be very tall rent like earth sometimes we dig earth to at obtain anything sometimes we pass urine and latrine do so many things but prithvi devi bhu devi 
or very tolerant. Never protest. See, don't tell. Never protest. Uh, why you are doing so? So she is very tolerant. So you should be tolerant like earth. Especially in earth, trees and creepers. Trees. How tolerant? Their bark, their juice, their fruit, their flowers, their food, everything is for others. So Vaishnava, everything, what he has, it should be for all. Tree even does not want water. He will dry. But never. Oh, give me water. And if he will cut his branch, even he will tolerate. Then Vaishnava, Vaishnavi, try to learn this. Otherwise, how Vaishnava? And also, Parbat, mountain. mountain, we do so many nonsense things, but she tolerates, tolerates. Their life, their everything, position, is for others. So yours also should be like, don't have any position, nothing, don't collect. And then, Sasvat Paratha Sarveha, Pran Bayu. Can you tell? Pran Bayu. 38 is low. Jnana Timirandasya Jnanan Jana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Guru Vena Maha. Uh, so the next verse is speaking about the mountain. No, no. That, no, been done. that has been done. Fast walk. Fast walk. Parat Sarve. Shaswat Pararta Sarveha Parartai Kanta Sambhava Sadhu Shikshet Bhu Britto Nagashishya Paratma Tam. A saintly person should learn from the mountain to devote all his efforts to the service of others and to make the welfare of others the sole reason for his existence. Similarly, as the disciple of the tree, he should learn to dedicate himself to others. This is what you spoke about. No, no, after no. that. After that, yes. Then prana, oh, prana vrittyaiva santushyan. Prana vrittyaiva santushyan munir naivindriya priyai jnanam yata nanashyeta navakiryeta van manaha. A learned sage should take his satisfaction in the simple maintenance of his existence and he should not seek satisfaction through gratifying the material senses. In other words, one should care for the material body in such a way that one's higher knowledge is not destroyed, and so that one's speech and mind are not deviated from self-realization. Then it goes on to the next verse. You, about wind? Vile? 
Yeah. Even a trip. Learn from prana bayu. Yeah. That is life yeah. bayu. Life, yeah. That. Oh, that, yeah. Now in the next slope, it tells. Only what our belly wants. Only simple and pavitra. Pure. Huh? Pure. Pure. We should take not much more or less. <coughs> Only to maintain life. Not for Rasana. This is very sweet, this is very tasteful, this is that. No. So, you should take, you remember, Patyahara, Prayasasya, Prajalpo, Nyama. Janasangasya lulancha. Sharbi bhakti. So for test, don't take. Only take prasadam to maintain any house life. And also, like bayu, this bayu, air, close everywhere. <coughs> take scent of Earth, flowers and everything. Bad thing also, stool and other things. But always detached, auspicious. Because there is no attachment to anyone. So we should be like that. We should travel here and there to maintain our life also. Preaching also, but be careful. Never be attached to anyone. Have expand attachment and affection. Oh. So don't attach. Further, they will all explain. So, they are, does not take any bad quality or good quality. This is of earth and always auspicious. But so, Sada, we tolerate Bhuk, Pyas, and other things. Bhuk, Pyas and all other things are not of Atma. It is our body, and we are not this body. Like Akash, sky, a sky. A sky is in blue. But sky is nothing. It is the air it looks like. No? Also, anywhere, fire, or so much cold, so much rain, coming from the sky, but not from the sky. So we should try to be like a sky, not as that. everywhere attachment. Don't attach to this one. So I have made this is sky my Siksha That we should know that Atma is pure, Krishna Das. And now body has come, don't have this uh, Atma Buddhi, um, body. Oh, from Agni, oh. Tejasvi Tapasa Dipto Dutthaso Odarbhajana 
सद्भक्षो अपी जुक्तात्मा नाददत्ते मलु अग्निवा तेजस्वी तपसा दीप दो तेजस्वी यस तेजस्वी तपसा दीप दो दूर दर्श दूर दर्शो दरा भाजना सर्व भक्षियों पी युक्तात्मा नाददत्ते मलम अग्निवत Saintly persons become powerful by execution of austerities. Their consciousness is unshakable because they do not try to enjoy anything within the material world. Such naturally liberated sages accept foodstuffs that are offered to them by destiny. And if by chance they happen to eat contaminated food, they are not affected, just like fire which burns up contaminated substances that are offered to it. What meaning? So the, the lesson is being learned from fire. All these 24 different Siksha Gurus, they are manifestations within the material nature. So this pure sage, he was able to learn lessons from all different aspects of nature. Now he's describing fire. Fire, if you feed anything into fire, what happens to it? It becomes completely burnt up in that fire. The fire does not become affected at all by it, and the fire is always pure. So in the same way, a saintly person who wanders within this world, he may eat this kind of foodstuff very good, very palatable, uh, or he may eat some foodstuffs which are even a few days old. Uh, in any condition, whatever he contacts, it does not affect him at all, because he is completely pure, like the fire. He, is, he has fully realized his transcendental position as the Atma, that he has no connection with the external material world. And therefore, when he is accepting articles, consuming different articles, different foodstuffs, he is not affected by that. He is completely transcendental, just as the fire is always pure. Like fire. Fire burns, <laughs> stone, urine, auspicious thing, unauspicious thing, but not taking anything. Nothing. So, Vaishnava should only to maintain life. He will have some thing, but he should not be entangled. As, what is fire? <coughs> have you seen fire? No. What is burning? If some wood, bakra, is burning, you will see that fire is. There's a shape. If it is flat, you will see that fire is flat. In forest, you will see all oh, big fire. But this is not fire. Fire is everywhere. In our heart also, that we digest. Everywhere, fire. So, sometimes it is visible, sometimes not visible. But these are flames, not fire. Fire is a power. Material power of Krishna. So we should be like that. Maintaining our life anyhow, we should not be attached to anything in this world. And then, <coughs> from 
चंद्र The various phases of one's material life beginning with birth and culminating in death are all properties of the body and they do not affect the soul just as the apparent waxing and waning of the moon does not affect the moon itself. Such changes are enforced by the imperceptible movements of time. Can you explain? So, Om Aginat Mirandasya Gyananjala Shalakaya Chakshu Unmalitam Jaina Tasmaya Shri Guru Maha. So, the moon in its waxing and its waning is not affected itself just like the soul is not affected by the changing body the body will change from youth to boyhood to old age but the atma will not change at all and similarly the moon when it goes through its 16 phases that the moon is the same, but it appears to be different, but actually the moon is one. So, similarly, uh, that's, so, so the soul remains the same, although the bodies are changing. It is due to body. Body, only body. So, Chandra is one. Always in full, full, but due to rotation of sun, earth, and moon, we see that today is Pratipada, first moon, second moon, third moon, like this. But if you will go very high, you will see that moon is always same size, uh, full moon. It is due to rotation of all these things. So, soul is one not affected by all these things. What we see, some reduce or some gradually develop in moon, it is due to rotation. So, Atma is always full. All bhuk, pyas, hunger, thirst, and all these things are of body. Atma is not affected at all. So you should be like that. You are not body. You are so part and parcel. Always happy. Nitya das of Krishna. So, you should be unaffected like. And then, oh, Manjari, you should come and sing one thing.
शिक्षा गुरु ईशन He takes all water from this world, even from ocean, and then he gives as a barsha, like rainfall. No collection, nothing. So, if you have any collection, donate it. <laughs> Don't keep. Otherwise, like fire. To donate to whom? Not to be shy. For the service of Hari Guru Vishnu. Utilize. <clears throat> Then, pigeon. I have learned something from pigeon. What? You. You don't know? You? Try to understand what you are doing. And if you will understand, <coughs> then you will understand. And keep in your heart. You will never be unhappy. I see so many are unhappy because they don't, they don't, don't. Oh, take my teachings. Otherwise, they will be. We call sufferings ourselves. Don't call. <laughs> so, Data Triarishi. Among all these siksha gurus, one of them is a pigeon. Once, a pigeon lived in the forest with his mate, and they were very much attached to each other. They had built a very beautiful nest, and it is said that the she pigeon, she was very coquettishly cajoling her husband whenever she wanted something from him, and because her husband didn't control his senses, naturally he would do everything she said. It is said that someone who has not controlled his senses naturally will be attached to the opposite sex. Shila Gogam Maharaj used to say, everyone in this world wants to enjoy the chakra pala, the round shaped fruit. I like your face, I like your breast, I like your buttocks. He would say like that. Everyone who has not controlled his senses is there. So those two lovey dovey birds, they were <coughs> very much attached to each other. And naturally, in the course of time, Then she experienced her first pregnancy, and she laid so many eggs in the nest. And then, by the uh, grace of the Lord, then those nests turned into very beautiful little baby pigeons, with their chirping very awkwardly. And their parents, naturally, like all parents, they fell completely in love with those little birds, and they forgot everything, and they were flying around, going you know, to find all kind of food to bring to the birds. Now one hunter, he had uh, noticed that, oh, there are so many bird droppings under that tree, so there must be a nest there. So he came and he found, oh, those little pigeons are there. So he spread his net and he caught all the pigeons. When the both parents came, when the mother saw her pigeons, baby pigeon there, she was so attached, she could not tolerate it. And very foolishly, she tried to help them and she also got caught. No, the male pigeon, he was completely mesmerized you know, by the beauty of his wife and attachment to his children. So he started to lament, oh, by the will of providence this has happened. I could not satisfy myself, he says, I could not satisfy myself. Meaning that no matter how much enjoyment one gets in this world, in the household or ashram, there is no satisfaction, there is no satisfaction, no matter what. No. And this pigeon, he was a Paka Grihamedi. <laughs> and therefore, he had enjoyed his senses like anything, still he was not satisfied. No. Still he was not satisfied. And he was saying, oh, those beautiful children, they are like saintly persons. He was completely bewildered. No. Then, by, they are now in the grip of death. And he was lamenting, what did I do? I did not perform pious activities. He was completely in a dream. 
and this is the fate of everyone in this world who is attached to the opposite set. Deha patrakara tradishu atma sanyeshu asatsapi. Tesham pramatoni dam pashana pina pashati. Those who are so attached to the body, an extension of the body, wives, children, house, everything. Then, although they see, they do not see. Although they see the life is passing every day, still they do not realize that everything here will have an end. So it is said, Vita Bandishu, Bhagavad If we have, there shouldn't be any attachment to wives, children, money, bank account. If there should be any attachment, it should be to the Lord who is so dear to the devotees. Pigeon was sheep is male pigeon. So much attached to lady pigeon and to their children. So one day she and he pigeon went to forest to collect some grain or some food. And the in time hunter came. And what did he saw that there are some baby pigeons and he took them all and he kept in his name. When they returned from forest, oh my children, so sea pigeon at once went there and she was in the net of and after that, he began, he lost his everything. Oh, my dear, this wife to him, she was very helping to me, favorable. <laughs> she always obeyed me, always. So, without him, her, how can I pass my life? And so, then came and hunter also took them. And what became? He took them all and he went to his house, returned very happy, very happy, and cooked them. And <laughs> so you should learn something from this all this. That is why I called and I am telling. This eleven canto, though very hard, but so much learning is there. We should learn and teach it. And also teach it to others also. Very powerful this. Who is telling? Krishna himself. Telling. This is a story of Datta Treya and Jatri. So you should think about this and be like this for your own maintenance. You should take something. Don't keep it with you extra. Don't attach it with anyone. Then, now, any drama play? Yes, yes. Oh, then.
like to support the uh, School of Braja and he'd also like to make a donation to Gorsunda Prabhu and his Gopal to keep the words as a witness he came to Vidyanava so long distance. Also we see Madan Mohan of Sanatana Goswami. He told that I want to be with you in Vrindavan. He denied I cannot satisfy you I have no milk, no curd, no anything. What can? How can I will nurse you? Then Gopal told, I will arrange everything. Don't. Then he take me with you, or oh, I cannot take you. You should follow. And then he walked, and he went to from Gokul to Vrindavan. Also, there are so many story where there is a strong faith Gopalji, Krishna, Radha, Govind, Madhani, Mohan. They, they can walk, they can speak, they can do everything. So we should know, though our eyes cannot see him, transcendental, but you have, have a strong faith that this is not deity only, marble or stone or anything. Oh, he is actually Krishna. And you should <coughs> try to please him. Go Premanam. I want to tell about Govardhan Puja tomorrow. I want that you should all participate. New, new, very good, tasteful sweets and other things. Achar. And so many things, so many fruits, vegetables, and other things. Not less than 365 as the day. If you cannot give, oh, anyhow by word, by anything, you can help. If Lakshmi can bake, but those who will participate in Govardhan Puja, Annako, they will never have to be bake anything. So anyhow, you say, by word, by mind, by Money by or anything. Go swimming. Oh, my God. 
मारा वहन तार को बंदे रूप सनातन रघुजग श्रीजी बोगो पाल को कृष्णा के तन गान न तन पर प्रेमाम्रताम बनी धी धीरा धीर जन प्रिय प्रिय कर नाना शास्त्र विचार नहीं कनिक न सद्धर्म संग स्थापक लोकाना हित कारण त्रिभुवने मन शरण्याकन नाना शास्त्र विचार नहीं कनिक न सद्धर्म संस्थापक लोकाना हित कारण त्रिभुवने मन शरण्याकर राधा कृष्ण पदार बिन्न भजनानंदी न मालिक वंदे रूप सनातन रघुजुग श्रीजीव गोपाल कृष्ण कीर्तन गान नन पर प्रेमाम्रता बनी धी श्री चैतन्य कृपा भर भुवि भुव भरा बहन तारक बंदे रूप सनातन रघुजग श्रीजीव गोपाल धार्मित पाप तापन कंतन तन भिता गोविंद गाना अमृत श्री गौरांग गुणान वर्णन विधो सद्या समित पापत्यापन किंतन तन मृता गोविंद गाना मृत आनंदाबुदिवर्धन कनिपुना